Hello! Welcome to my channel, Math with Mrs. O. I'm Ofelia Orate, a principal owner of a school and a tutorial center, a math teacher, and an author of 21 books. Today's lesson is Addition and Subtraction of Integers, Integers or the Signed Numbers. By the way, before I proceed, please don't forget to click the subscribe button and the bell button. Strategy number one is using the number line and then we go happy. Let us say you're asked to add negative 7 plus 4. One method is for you to go 0. You jump here 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So this is negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, negative 4, negative 5, negative 6, negative 7. You move from 0 to negative 7. Stop. That's negative 7. And then you add 4 plus 4. You're, you move 4 units to the right. So 1, 2, 3, 4. You stop here. So the answer is negative 3. But I don't recommend you to use this because what if we have like negative 1,000 added to another large number? You go step by step hopping, so it's not a good strategy. So I am going to show to you here a shorter method on how to add and subtract integers. Before we proceed to the shorter method, let us remember that when we say negative A, we're referring to the opposite. Opposite of A. So, so therefore, if we have negative 2, this is simply the opposite of 2. Negative 3, is the opposite of 3 and negative 4 and so on and so forth is the opposite of 4 and therefore also negative of negative a will be giving us a positive a why the opposite of a negative a is positive a so the opposite of a positive A is negative A, and the opposite of a negative A is positive A. There. So, let's proceed here. Like signs. The rule in adding like signs is that you add, then copy the sign. For example, number one. Negative 5 plus negative 3. There. They are like signs, they are both negative. What do you do? Just add the absolute values of each of the numbers. Add 5 plus 3 is 8. Then copy the sign. So the answer is negative 8. Add 5 plus 3, 8, then copy the sign. What about negative 10? 10 plus negative 6. Add 10 plus 6 is 16. Then copy the sign. So, third example. What if we have here positive 12 or 12 plus 7? If you write here plus 12 plus positive 7, it's the same as writing 12 plus 7. Take note that if there is no sign before the number, it is understood to be positive. So just add 12 plus 7, 19, then copy the sign, plus or positive 19. Now, what if we have here negative 20 plus negative 8? Like signs? They're both negative. Add 20 plus 8 is 28. Then copy the sign. Therefore, another example. Let's say 
positive 20 plus positive 8. What do we get? Are they like signs or do they have like signs? Yes. So you add 20 plus 8 is 28, then copy the sign. Or this is understood to be 28. Positive 28 is understood to be 28. Another example, number 6, let's say we have negative 100 plus negative 16. Do you have like signs here? Yes. They are both negative. So add 100 plus 16 is 116. Then copy the sign. There. Now, let us go back to this first and have some exercises so that you remember that the opposite of a negative is positive. Example number one. Let's say we have here the negative of positive A is negative A. So, what is the negative of positive 2? This is negative 2. What is the opposite or the negative of negative 3? The negative of negative 3 or the opposite of negative 3 is positive 3. What about the negative of negative 5? There, it's positive 5. What if I write here the negative of the negative of negative 10. All you have to do is to start from the innermost grouping. Negative of negative 10 or the opposite of a negative is positive 10. Then there's a negative outside. So the opposite of 10 is negative 10. Two more examples so that, you know, it gets still in your mind. So what about if we have the negative or the opposite of the negative of the negative of negative 3. There. Start from the innermost groupings. Negative of negative 3, this gives you a positive 3. Or the opposite of a negative is positive. Then you copy this. Or you have a negative there, copy this. Then copy the opposite there. Did you get that? Opposite of negative is positive. Then you get the opposite here and the opposite here. Then, opposite of a negative will give you again a positive 3. There. So the final answer is positive 3. Now, let's move on to unlike signs. So for unlike signs, remember the rule is subtract, ignore the signs, you subtract, then copy the sign of the bigger number. Repeat, subtract, then copy the sign of the bigger number. Let's take for example number one. We have negative 5 plus 2. Ignore the signs first. We have unlike signs, so we know that this is the rule. Subtract 5 minus 2 is 3. Copy the sign of the bigger. Which is bigger, 5 or 2? 5. What's the sign of 5? Negative. So you put negative there. So your answer is negative 3. Uh, repeat. In example 2, let's say we have negative 7 plus 4. There. Subtract 7 minus 4. Ignore the signs first. 7 minus 4. And then copy the sign of the bigger. Which is bigger? 7 or 4? 7 is bigger. What is the sign of the bigger? Negative. Put the negative there. So 7 minus 4 is 3. Copy the, the sign of the bigger. The bigger number is negative. In example 3, let us say we have here 5 plus negative 3. Again, subtract 5 minus 3 is 2. Copy the sign of the bigger. Which is bigger, 3 or 5? Five? 5 is bigger. What's the sign of the bigger? 
positive or you just write two. Another example, example four, let's say we have here the negative of negative 20 minus 3. There. The negative of negative 20, applying this, or the opposite of a negative is positive 20. Minus 3, this, this means that you have 20 plus negative 3. Remember that. Take note here that if we have A minus B, it's the same as A plus the negative of B. So 20 minus 3 is the same as 20 plus the negative of 3. So apply the rule. Subtract 20 minus 3 is 17. Copy the sign of the bigger. 20 is bigger. The sign of 20 is plus. So the answer is plus 17 or 17. What if we have here, like, negative 6 minus 2 plus 3? There. So, we can, you can rewrite this for you not to get confused as addition so that this is now negative 6 plus negative 2 and then plus 3. Then observe that these two have like signs, so you have the rule add, then copy the sign because they have like signs. Add 6 plus 2 is 8, copy the sign negative plus 3. They have unlike signs now, so you will subtract. 8 minus 3 is 5, then copy the sign of the bigger. So your final answer is negative 5. Let's move on to our sixth example. In problem number 6, we have negative 3 minus the quantity negative 4 plus 2. In this case, we always have to follow the PEMDAS rule. Repeat. PEMDAS. Others use GEMDAS. It doesn't matter. What is the GEMDAS or PEMDAS rule again? P or G stands for parentheses or groupings, meaning you do all the ones in the groupings first. If there are several groupings, you do the innermost grouping first. Then M, D, you do all the multiplication and the division first before doing all the addition and subtraction. And this is always from left to right, whichever comes first. So let's do this one. Solve this. G, we have a G or a P. So we solve the ones inside the groupings first. Copy negative 3 minus negative 4 plus 2. Subtract 4 minus 2 is 2. Copy the sign of the bigger. The bigger is 4, its sign is negative, so you get negative 2. Now, this means negative 3, the opposite of a negative or negative of a negative is positive 2. There. So therefore, the final answer is negative 3 plus 2 is subtract 3 minus 2 is 1, copy the sign of the bigger. So the answer is negative 1. So in number 7, you have two groupings inside and then here, another here. So in this case, you do the ones inside the innermost first. So you simplify this one first. Let's copy all the others. So we have 10 minus negative 18 minus, 18 minus 16 is 2. There. Copy the parentheses there, minus 6. Then we have another grouping again. So you do the ones inside the grouping. Copy 10 minus negative 18 minus 2. This means in here, this means you have negative 18 
plus negative 2. In case you're confused about this, negative 18 plus negative 2. So we have here like signs add 18 plus 2 is 20. Copy the sign. Minus 6. Now, do you still have groupings? Not anymore. So this is now 10. The negative of a negative or the opposite of a negative is positive 20 minus 6. Then here we have 30 minus 6. That gives us a 24. Problem number 8. I made this a little more complicated than number 7 so that you will know what to do. Again, we, we follow the M does, the gem does, so we do the ones inside the groupings first. You simplify these two first. So copy 6 minus 8 minus, there, copy negative 3 minus, this is parenthesis, 19 minus 16 is positive 3 minus negative 5 plus 3 is negative 2 there and then copy 6 minus 8 minus this is negative 3 rewrite this as plus negative 3 negative 3 plus negative 3 negative of a negative is positive 2 There. So I rewrite this as plus negative so that you will not get confused. The negative of a negative is positive 2. So you do the ones inside the grouping again. So copy 6 minus 8 minus negative 3 plus negative 3 is negative 6 plus 2. These are unlike signs. So subtract. You get 4. Copy the sign of the bigger number. So you get negative 4. Copy 6 minus 8 minus the answer here. Now you see that this is negative of a negative. So copy 6 minus 8. Negative of a negative is a positive 4. There. Now you can already combine. Like 6 plus 4 is 10. 10, 10 minus 8 is 2. There. Repeat. Now, if you don't go that way, let us say you want to add this 2 for 6 minus 8 is negative 2 plus 4. That will still give you a 10. But if you go 6 plus 4, 10 minus 8, that will still be a 2. I hope I was of help to you. Please don't forget to subscribe and click the bell button so that we can continue publishing videos in math. Don't forget, always remember to add kindness, subtract judgment, multiply understanding equals Mrs. O's good life equation. Subscribe, don't forget.